previously on Let's Play Banjo-Kazooie. Oh god, that was close! And then the adventure continues. So, let's see, where's the quickest way out of here? Well, not over here. Um, please tell me there's a ladder somewhere. Uh, not over here. Okay, oh, there's one over there, okay. That will be our way out, then. So, I have a question for you guys. Do you guys remember Snacker? Our good shark friend from Treasure Trove Cove. He's back! And he's actually a lot faster this time. So be careful. But instead, we have some stuff to take care of in here. Ooh, a flight pad. They basically just threw this room together just to give an excuse to have the flight pad in this world. Honestly, this is like the most insignificant thing you can get. But yeah, there's just an empty honeycomb piece in here. And we'll have to fly to get to it, and that's basically it. Which, I guess they kind of did the same thing for Mad Monster Mansion, too, but at least there were some uh, other goodies as well, like the uh, Witch Switch. It did require a Jiggy to an extent, or you would at least get a Jiggy to an extent. Okay, we took care of that. Now we need to get out of here before Snacker eats us. Snacker, leave me alone. Leave me alone. We talked about this before. You're not my enemy. You're just a shark who wants to eat me. That's all you are. And that's not a good enough reason to eat me, so too bad. I know, I'm using very bad logic against him, but... I can't help it. I don't like that stupid shark. Can you guys blame me? I mean, come on, he's a shark. I actually did have a, uh, well, actually, I don't remember. It was either a shark nightmare or a uh, crocodile nightmare. I think it was a crocodile, actually, now that I think about it. But yeah, I was, uh, basically, I had a nightmare when I was a kid where I was swimming in a, you know, not really a large body of water or anything. I was swimming at the shore of the body of water. And all of a sudden, this crocodile comes along, and she's like, I don't want to numb your head off. And I'm like, no, I don't want you to numb my head off. So, I try to swim and outrun this crocodile who, you know, as you know, it is a water creature. So, my chances of survival are already extremely low. And, you know, so I'm swimming to the shore. The shore is right there, but... Again, it is a crocodile, it's a water creature, I'm pretty scared regardless. And uh, yeah, I make it to the shore and I, you know, start to celebrate because I'm like, yay, I made it, I didn't die. Then I forget the fact that crocodiles can actually <laughs> climb out of water. So then it starts chasing me on land too. and. Uh, yeah, let's just say, um, freaked me out. I don't remember how old I was when I had this dream, but I couldn't have been that old because, oh, well, I was screaming for my parents. I mean, I guess I wouldn't have to be that young to scream for my parents. I mean, a dream like that, you'd get freaking scared no matter what, but, you know, just trying to think anyway so yeah I screamed for my parents they came and they checked in on me and I told them and I was freaked out for well pretty much the next few days it was really bad too because we were going to like Florida I think like the next week or the next two weeks I don't remember the exact 
specific amount of time, but it was very, very soon. And, uh, you know, there's a lot of crocs in Florida, I'm pretty sure. Or I, I, I guess that might be more alligators, but crocodiles, alligators, they're, they're not the same, but, you know, same basic idea. Giant green, greenish-brown creatures that try to eat you. Yeah, not good, not good. So yeah, and uh, we were going to uh, a beach, which, uh, from what I remember, there weren't any crocs in the area or anything, or that particular area, so we were going to be fine anyway. But still, you know, when, it, when you have a dream like that, you get freaking scared for a long period of time. As you guys should understand. Who knows, maybe you guys are just making fun of me. I have no idea. Either way, that was a dream I wanted to share with you guys. Had no relevance to the story because, uh... <laughs> we weren't actually dealing with any alligators or crocodiles or anything, but... Still, though, kind of a same Josh-like nightmare. You know, kind of reminds you of Jaws and all of that, so... It's understandable. Also, Al. If you destroy all the uh, enemies here, you get a one-up. That's about it. You're really only going to want to come in here for those notes. Speaking of notes, I should probably finish those off here in a little bit. Because I think I know where the final eight notes are. First, though, let's go in here. Because I believe this is where the final Jinjo is. So yeah, if uh, any of you guys have had a dream like that before, uh, feel free to share. I'm sure that, you know, a lot of people have had dreams like that before. I mean, let's face it, crocodiles, sharks, alligators, any of those freaking huge... Uh, water-based creatures, they can actually be pretty dang scary. Not gonna lie. Okay, yeah, I can actually do something else now. Uh, yeah, let's go for the rest of the notes, because I do not want to start this level over, especially considering I don't have that much health. Uh, can I get over here? Probably not. Okay, well, let's resurface. I want to be very careful about this. I do not want to die, especially here. And this is not good because... Oh god, I'm running out of air. I'm running out of air. I'm running out of air. Shoot, let's go for it. Let's go for it. Oh no. I can't find it! Dang it! Oh, I have to do that all over again. Oh god dang it. 92, that's the worst. That's the worst score to get when you're this close to being done. It's the worst. Ugh, anywhere in the 90s just sucks. Okay, hold on, guys. Okay, I'm returning to this point right here. Uh, this is the second crane. Uh, not the crane we were at before, but the second one. And, uh, we're gonna go over here next. Uh, I haven't actually gotten all the notes that I had before. Now I do, but I don't think I had those notes before anyway. But, I'll figure it out. There's still a few places I need to check, so... Again, we'll get those notes somehow. I'm not sure where I'm leaving them out. I should be missing three somewhere. So, just gotta figure out where those three notes are and I should be fine. But anyway, uh, now that we've uh, destroyed that little uh, place in the floor, well, first of all, before we do that, I'm going to go ahead and pound the switch switch to make another Jiggy appear in the overworld. Bet you guys were wondering where the hell that switch was. Eh, it just took a while to find. But anyway, we're going to go down here next.
Wait, what the? Oh, shoot. I didn't activate the dialogue. Uh, this is, a uh, Boss Boombox or something? I don't know. He has a name like that. Wait, what the? Is the Jiggy out? Okay. Um, I wasn't expecting that to happen. Uh, okay. Guess I broke this boss somehow. Okay. Well, that's it for that then. Uh, I guess you can uh, break that boss if you shoot eggs at him before he even forms. Um, okay. I'm fine with that, I suppose. I seriously had no idea you could do that. Okay, really not sure where those notes are, and I am getting kind of worried now. Huh. I wonder where they could be. Maybe I missed them at the top of these little, uh, smokestacks. Maybe there was a set of notes that I forgot about. That could possibly be it. I don't know. I'm just gonna assume that's what I'm missing, anyway. Uh, don't know if that's actually true or not. Okay, no way I can grab the rope from there. Can I grab it from over here? And before you guys ask, there is no way they're in the engine room, because I know those are the first ones I got. And those comes in sets of four anyway, so... Don't worry, I got those covered. <laughs> Better have those covered. My god, I freaking hate that stupid engine room. Well, in the meantime... Uh, before we figure this out, uh, there is another Jinjo we have to collect. Wow, they had to make this path very weird. Why must you make my path so weird? Well, either way, there's a Jinjo. Okay, we only have one more Jiggy left, and I believe we are on the wrong side. Yeah, I think it's on the other side of the ship. Well, I have another place I want to check out before I uh, go to that next location anyway, so I'm going to check that place for notes really quick, and then uh, from there, we'll continue. Okay, so uh, the notes weren't where I thought they were, but we have some other stuff we have to do anyway. We have this poor little dolphin who's stuck. I'm trapped! Help! Get this thing off Snorkel! Yes, we need to help poor Snorkel. Uh... Oh shit. Don't tell me I'm gonna die again like this. I am, aren't I? No, I'm not. There's no freaking way I'm dying. Not again. Not again. Woo! Oh god. Okay. okay. It's fine. I'm okay. I'm okay. Let's try this again. Wow, that's the second time this stupid, stupid dolphin almost killed me. My god. Oh well. We found the entrance. That's all we need to know. So I think he is definitely going to be our last uh, jiggy client for this world. Got four notes in here, which means, yep, those three notes are all I'm missing. Hmm. Or no, maybe it is gonna be four. It is gonna be four. I'm pretty sure I checked the engine room. I'm pretty dang sure I checked that stupid engine room, so. I don't know where those notes are, but I'll find them eventually, I guess. And thank you, Snorkel. I appreciate it. Um, how do I get out of here? Oh, right. This way? No, it's this way. What am I doing? I have no idea what I'm doing, where I'm going. No, I'm not going to sing White Snake again. Let's just, uh... Find those notes and get out of here, because I think we've seen enough of this level. I think we've seen enough of this level for a lifetime. 
Also, hello, notes, or Jiggy, you're not notes. What in the world am I talking about? Okay, well, I'll let you guys know when I find those notes. That's the last thing I have to collect. I have all the pieces, I have all the Jiggies. So yeah, wherever those notes are, I'll find them. Okay, I was right. They were up here. Now let's get the frick out of here, my god. I have seen enough Rocket Busty Bay for this uh, playthrough, my god. I don't care if I just called the level Rocket Busty Bay. I don't. I really don't care. I'm done. Okay, well there we go. That level is done, finally. There's my 100 notes. Got 10 jiggies. Got two pieces. That's all I need. That's all I need from that level. I don't need anything else from that level ever again. Until my next playthrough. Ugh. Well, for now, we have some other things we can do. Before we open up the final world of the game. First, let's swim up here. Look, we have a Jiggy. How nice. One more Jiggy to go in the overworld. Pretty cool with that. But meanwhile, we actually have some other cool stuff to do. Let's follow this tunnel around here. And then we'll actually find the third and final water switch of the game. However, this switch is a little bit different. This one is actually timed. And we have to make use of this water switch before time runs out. So, we're going to actually go back to this other room. And if we swim up from here... Wait, where did it go? Where'd it go? Where'd it go? Oh, it's over there. Dang it. Okay. Uh, hold on a second, guys. Okay, let's try this again. Thankfully, I know it's actually up here. I think. Yes. Thank God. Okay, well, if we go up here for the third and final time, we meet our good friend, Cheeto. Heron Bird getting good at fighting Cheeto, so another spell they shall have. That traitor book has pushed its luck, so in the burning fire I'll chuck. Fine Cheeto, which won't. Kodima Center on Sandcastle Floor in Treasure Trove Cove is... Gold Feathers. And there we go, that's the last uh, code from Cheeto. He's helped us quite a bit throughout this game, and that's actually all we're going to need him for, too. He was a nice trader. I appreciate his traitorish ways. They helped me out in the end, so... Gotta be happy about that. So, at this point, we've actually explored every part of the Witch's Lair. Except... up here with this uh, note door. So, this is going to be our next, and... Perhaps our final targets. Let's go. Oh god. I did not have enough gold feathers for this. Well, let's brave through this. Come on, Banjo, you can do it! Okay, that wasn't too bad. Well, here we are. This is the lobby of the final world of the game. I think Brintilda is somewhere around here. Oh, Grunty, only you would know what... how useful a piece of dung is. I know, I kind of failed with that insult because I couldn't remember what I was trying to say. But nonetheless, uh, behind here, I believe we have our good friend, Nobody. Hello, Nobody. It was nice to see you. 